it's kind of a uh, an emotional, unique year for me, being uh, my last year coaching. Uh, it's, I've had a uniform on since uh, I was eight years old. So uh, I know next year will be even more emotional when I'm uh, when I'm sitting out there watching. But it's a it's a great time and. Uh, I've been very, very lucky to be at the University of Miami. It's the best move I ever made as a college coach, or as a coach, period, being able to join the University of Miami. And and uh, I'm very lucky that Coach Frazier recommended me uh, to Paul D. And that uh, Mr. D brought me in. And I understood right from the beginning that Coach, the most common question asked to me is, what, uh, uh, what do you think about this year's team? What's your goal? Well, it was very easy because it was set in the first uh, in an interview when I walked in the, the players' locker room and a national runner-up trophy was in the bathroom holding the door up. Now, I remember looking and I looked at Paul D and I looked back. It's like it seems like yesterday. I looked at Mr. D again. Looked back. I think he was he was in as big a shock as I was when his national runner-up trophy is in the bathroom and it was wet too, by the way. So I don't know what that meant. We'll leave that to your imagination and. Uh, so that standard is set, and, and uh, that uh, expectations are very, very high, and it always is for this program. And so it was established by Coach Frazier and, and his staff, and I've been lucky to have some uh, a great staff with me, and and uh, here for 25 years now, and some great players, and, and uh, the, the the administration has always supported me, and and I know that uh, without that support, you can't win. And with that support, you got a chance to win. Doesn't guarantee you're going to win, but we got a great product to sell here. That's the baseball program and the University of Miami academic program. And I feel great about uh, the fact that we've gone to the World Series 30, 13 times, but I also feel equally as good about the fact that uh, our players have done very well in school. Our current grade point average is uh, overall for our entire team is 3.14. Uh, we, that we were introduced to the basketball game the other night, and they introduced everybody that had a 3-0 or above, or 3-2, I don't remember what it was exactly, or above, but we had half our team was on the, the court, and we had the highest percentage of any of the male athletes. I'm not gonna say female, those girls are really smart. <laughs> and and, and uh, But the, the male sports, and that was a, you know, it was an honor to be out there with those guys, and we're very excited about the season. We're we're very young, and I know I sound like a coach talking now, but when you see the lineup Friday night, you'll see it's, we're, we're going to be very young. We have a chance to start a redshirt freshman catcher. Played one week last year before he got hurt. A freshman at first, freshman at second, freshman at short, freshman at third, and possibly a freshman in the outfield. So we're very, very young, and we also for sure will, will start a transfer uh, in Denny Reyes in the outfield. So you're going to see a different team than you saw last year, which I think is, is probably a good thing. This is more talented, young, but I have no problem having young players start. Uh, we've had a lot of really good players over the year. Those guys are all, all those guys are going to be pro players that I just named. If, when they leave Miami, they're going to be pro players. And that's what you want. Your My goal is for our guys to, to, to uh, graduate and to sign pro contracts. That's for the players, that's my goal. Of course, my, my goal for the team is to go to Omaha. And uh, so I'm very excited about our team. And uh, the, uh, I think we'll be a lot better halfway through the season and a lot better to end the season than we are at the beginning, even though we're working very, very hard. But, you know, when you have freshmen and, and you have a bunch of them, then you have you you make some some mental mistakes along, but I think they can make up for it, a lot of it with talent. So excited about that! Our pitching is going to be good. Uh, we had one pitcher go down, uh, uh, McMahon from Philadelphia, that would be in our rotation. That's uh, I'll be back in uh, March or April, probably first week of April. But our rotation's good. Our bullpen is probably the strength of our pitching, uh, led by Cabasis being our closer. And, Bartow and Cooper, uh, so we got some good, uh, good bullpen guys to go in there. And I'm a bull, I'm a bullpen guy. You know, I'm not a bring guys in and get them to go nine innings. I'm, I'm like the old, you know, it used to be you go win as long as you can. I'm a, give me six innings or seven and we'll win. But our bullpen, that's the way it's been ever since I got here with, with Danny Graves and Jay Tesper and. Uh, so it's, it's been a, a fun trip for me. The alumni game, the uh, alumni weekend this weekend was great. 121 of our guys come back. I 
it's about double of what it's ever been. And it was great to see some of those guys, that, like a Rush Jacobson I hadn't seen in 17 years, came back for the last weekend and immediately ripped a base hit. He couldn't hardly run to first, but he ripped it to first. And Huff came up and got a base hit. And I, I think I might be able to outrun those guys. And uh, so it's a, but it was a great weekend, a lot of fun. And I appreciate all those guys coming back too. But, uh, you know, the press has been great to me since I've been here. And, and I want to thank you guys uh, for all the, the years I've been here. And, uh, and uh, as you know, anytime you need me, you can always get me. And uh, look forward to being around you this season. And you watch these guys, I think you're going to be impressed with them and enjoy watching them. That's a long opening speech. That's my longest. <laughs> Coach, um, after the wave last year, I know I know you're probably trying to savor every moment of this final season, but was there, I don't know, a sense of earnest <clears throat> urgency trying to get the season started now after the wave last year and you missing the tournament? No, I mean, when it first ended, I was glad to be out of here, to be honest. That's the toughest year of my coaching career, and that was a very, very tough year for me and, and, my, and my staff and, and the players, too. You know, we, the draft wasn't good to us. This year has been very good to us, and we had injuries to some key players. It was a, a very long year, very long year. I would not make it. This is 25 years here, but 41 years as a head coach, I guarantee you. I would have not made it to 41 with many years like last year. I would have either uh, been out or asked to leave one or the other. <laughs> Jim, when you look at, obviously, like you said, so many freshmen, you know, <clears throat> how different is that when you are coming into a season and it's going to be as young as, as you've got? Well, we've had a, you know, a time back in, uh, you know, when Yonder and Jamal and Dennis Rabin and Blake Dakota and John Jay, all those guys were freshmen started too. And we went to the World Series. So we can do it with those guys. But they got to mature. Those are very, of course, I'm talking about guys that, you know, played in the major leagues. So they were really good players that ended up playing in the big leagues. But uh, uh, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. If our pitching can hold them down, and, which I think it can, and <clears throat> let these guys mature. But uh, we've got a good combination of speed and, and, uh, and power now that uh, I'm looking forward to the season. But they, they might struggle some early, you know, just adjusting, because every time you go from one level to the next level, it's an adjustment for these guys. Can you share some of your thoughts on the batting order, sort of how you see it shaping up right now? Uh, that's a hard question to answer. Uh, uh, I think uh, Danny Reyes will hit fourth, and I think Romy will hit third, and uh, Burns might hit two or five, and uh, uh, Jenkins or, uh, or uh, Scala could lead off, and Amditas will probably hit sixth or seventh, and Zamora, who's a very good player, will probably hit eighth or ninth, but it's going to be a good player. And uh, uh, Ray Gill is going to hit somewhere there from five, six, seven. Uh, a really good freshman, also. Uh, but I don't really have a black order. It's going to change. It's going to change. And the order that you saw in our alumni game. It will not be the same thing you saw. I had a couple older guys in there and changed it around a little bit. It would have been the alumni game. But uh, uh, it's going to change as the season goes. And the lineup that I start Friday will not be the lineup that we start at the end of the season for sure. How has uh, Michael looked as, as he's come back from the injury and gone through the recovery? <clears throat> you know, he's had a long battle, a tough couple of years with a lot of things on the field and off field uh, with his father and, and everything. So it's been a tough year for him, and that injury was a tough injury. And uh, uh, he uh, he's still not 100%. He's probably 90, 95%. So he has by time shifted, he has trouble shifting a little bit to his right and blocking balls. But he's a good player, and he's going to be a pro player. He's just got to stay healthy because he got hurt his senior year and had shoulder surgery, and he's over that. And he's still not over this, even though he's been doing rehab for a year and doing everything you're supposed to do. This weekend we'll start, uh, Jeb will start Friday, Felice, uh, Greg will start Saturday, and then uh, uh, McHenry will start Sunday. And probably Metavia will start on Wednesday next week. So that's probably our first four, four, uh, first four games. Any other questions? Anybody? Well, again, I appreciate uh, everyone coming out, and uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to come out a lot and watch us. I think it's going to be a fun team to watch because they're going to be aggressive. They run. We've got some good athletes on the field, and we hit a few home runs, which are always fun to watch too. And, and I know people would rather watch the game 
a six to two than one nothing. But as long as we win, I don't care. So, uh, and you're going to see both uh, with us this season. But uh, thanks a lot. I'll see you downstairs.